Hello and welcome. My name is Darren. I work in the Fernox digital team. And today I'm going to give you a very quick run through of the new Fernox Express inhibitor test. The Express inhibitor test is a brand new product that we've just rolled out. And this contains 50 of these little molybdate test strips. And these will pick up the presence of inhibitor within your system. And it will give you an indication of whether there's enough inhibitor in the system to prevent things like corrosion. And corrosion is bad because it can damage your radiators, it can damage your boiler, it can raise your energy bills, and it's just not very good for the system at all. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to download the, the app, which you use to submit the actual samples. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my phone up on screen next to me so you'll be able to follow along live exactly what I do. I'm on an iPhone. Uh, it is an app that's available on the iOS store, but it's also available on the Android store as well. So what I'm going to do first is on the side of the bottle, there's a QR code. I am going to scan that with my phone's QR code scanner. And straight away, that's going to take me to the app store, which will display the Fernox water test app. Download that and register. I've already done it just to speed up the, this video. Uh, but registering is very quick and simple. It just asks for a few basic details. You'll have to set a password. Make sure you don't share your password with anyone. And then once you're in the app, you'll be able to see this dashboard. Now, the dashboard gives you an overview of all your postal samples that you have in progress, as well as the past ones, as well as the new section, which is for the express and test. And it will detail all your passes and all your fails. So before I go any further, I'll go and take some, some, some uh, water out of the system. I've already got one here, which I took earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new sample. So in the menu here, you can see a bit which says new express inhibitor test. I'll click on that. That will then generate a new kit reference, this field at the top. The kit reference is unique to every single sample, and it's what we use to identify the sample as well as for your own records. If you have your own customer CRM system or, or service management system, whatever you use, and you have a unique job number, uh, such as a UPRN, then you can enter it into this field here. And this is just to match it up against your own records if you want to download a spreadsheet for your samples or even connect the systems at the later stage. All you have then have to do is select the boiler manufacturer. So for this one, we're going to go with ideal. The boiler serial number, uh, many of the boiler manufacturers now have barcodes and QR codes on their boilers, as I'm sure you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click scan just to show you how quick this is. That's going to scan the QR code that I've got on my laptop screen. Obviously, it would be a boiler in real life. Um, but it, does, it is very accurate, so you can trust that that, is, uh, that should be fine. Select the system age, and then the address finder. This is important because obviously it matches to this unique property. So all I'm going to do is enter an address here. And then from the next field down, I'll be able to pick from the list what the address is, and then it will fill in the rest of the fields for me. I don't need to worry about entering the fields manually. The only time you might need to do it is if it's a brand new, uh, new build property and maybe the address isn't available yet to choose from a drop down. So right now I am going to dip my sample in the water. So here's my water sample that I took earlier. Here's the test strip. All I'm going to do is pop it in for about a second, shake off the excess water, and then line it up against the bottle and take a picture with it on my phone. So I'll click tap to add photo. You can see it's roughly about 20 ppm, and ppm stands for parts per million, and that's the molybdate uh, measurement tool that we use to, to analyze the actual sample itself. Once that's submitted, all I have to do is choose from the drop down the outcome. So it's roughly about 20, so I'm going to choose 20. The only other field you have to select is the GDPR field, which is to give permission that you have uh, the homeowner or the property address details in the system. So I'll click Submit. That will then instantly analyze the sample. Data add it successfully. And then straight away, you can see that that sample has in fact failed. There's not enough inhibitor in the system to, to make sure that it's going to stay uh, healthy. So I'll go over to my email. And in my emails, here's the result. The result should come through straight away. So this will just be a PDF report of the sample we've just added. So you can see here, there's the sample reference, there's the testing outcome. And if I click on the PDF attachment, which will be on the email, you'll be able to open that up and that will have the photo that you took, the color reference chart there, as well as all the details. So it will give a conclusion and a recommendation as well based on the sample that you added. Now we went through that a little bit slower because that was the first time that we're doing it. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna reopen the app and 
let's imagine that I've now gone back to the system. I've added a bit more in here, but so just to top it up, so it should now be at sufficient levels. You can see on the dashboard as well that it now says one sample has failed as well. So I'm going to click Add New Inhibitor Test. I've taken some more uh, water out of my system. You can take sample water out of the system uh, by the filter, the radiator, or the towel rail. If you are going to dose from the filter, make sure that you actually service the filter first so it gets rid of any sludge and any debris which it might have collected. And if you're using anything else, just make sure it runs for about 10 seconds first so the water's nice and clear uh, so you actually get an accurate, accurate sample out of that system. So you can see on screen here, I'm just going to add a new sample now. We went through it a little bit slow last time, so I'm going to add it a little bit quicker just to demonstrate how quick you can actually add a sample if you need to. Postcode, we'll add the same one again because we're resampling the same address. And it's the number 16. Tap to add photo. So what I'm going to do is this is my new sample water I've just taken. I'm going to pop it in there for about a second, shake it off, add it to the bottle again, and I'm going to take a photo. You can see this time around, it's roughly about the 100 mark, which is the optimum level. So I'll take a picture, click use photo, confirm the photo, and then select and drop down the outcome. So it's 100 ppm on this one. Select you've got permission again, click submit, and then that's just doing a quick analysis, data addict successfully, and you'll see it pop up in front of you here. So all I'm then gonna do, and there's the email, so the email's come through straight away. Let's click on the report. Let's click on the new report. There it is. So, you can see that this one has in fact passed this time. And all I'm going to do now is go back to the app. And you can see I've got one passed and one failed. So you can click on each sample and you can see the details. It's in the exact same details that's in the PDF. And if you want to, you can print another one. You can forward them on to a friend if you need to, um, if you have to forward them on to the homeowner, for example. So that's a very quick overview of the app and the new Express inhibitor test. As mentioned, it does come with 50 unique test scripts. If you have any questions, please just comment on this video or you can email us at data at and we'll do our best to help you. Thank you very much.